We're at Sportex Asia. It's an event uh, talking about investing in Asia and sport. And it's a great Monday, right? It's always a good way to start the week. What do you good say? Way to start the week at a conference, yes. Yeah. I'm with Mr. Matthew Wheeler, uh, who's with A&W Capital. And what's interesting to all the fans is you played cricket, uh, you managed a couple of football clubs, uh, and your organization deals with cross-border marketing opportunity, investment opportunities in sport. Cross-border investment opportunities, yeah. Hmm. So, what would you have to say? You've played so many sports and like you've been involved in so many sports and um, just... <laughs> about India? Indian yeah, about sport? India and... Uh, Look, I think it's a really exciting time for Indian sport. I think over the next 20 years, the whole sports infrastructure mm. of India is going to develop. Mm. I mean, obviously, it's quite nascent at the moment. You have IPL, which is a yeah. fantastic global class, world-class league. But over the next 20 years, I'm absolutely sure that the structure of Indian sports can develop in football, in kabaddi. You're starting to see it already. It's unsustainable in a market this size that you have cricket mm. that is so dominant and everything else that's still growing, and they will grow. So when you handle cross-border uh, investment opportunities, why India? Why did you pick the Indian market? or Why is it an attractive uh, market? Well, I picked India because my background is in cricket. <laughs> so that's a common language. Uh, the Indian business community speaks English, so that helps me enormously. My yeah. wife, as it happens, is Indian. All right. Her family are from Kerala. And there's a lot of connect between India and the UK, which you mm -hmm. know there isn't in other parts of the world. All right, so like you mentioned in the last 10, 15, 20 years, India's evolved, right? In terms of, there was nothing about 15 years ago, and now there's a huge change in the whole sporting ecosystem. But what's the next step you think India has to take? Maybe in terms of, from the grassroots level, should there be more development, maybe more education in sport? What do you think the next step for India is? Well, the, the, the fundamental of any sports infrastructure is the grassroots. You have to have people playing. And to do that, you have to have coaches, you have to have places to play so all of that needs to be developed and you're absolutely right to focus on the grassroots because without the grassroots without people playing without all those kids out there all those leagues all those teams it's not going to happen you can't just build an elite mm -hmm. level you absolutely have to have the grassroots so you're right I think India needs to um, focus on the grassroots which of course also goes with what the government's trying to do in terms of health and fitness to get people involved in playing sport. I'm just going to ask you one question because you have plenty of football fans. You were on the board of a couple of the clubs, one in the MLS, one in the Bundesliga. So what is that like and just being... And the two different leagues, so how different are those two leagues? In? The Bundesliga is a traditional European yeah. league with relegation. Yeah. So the first year I was a director, we came fifth in the league. It was the best position they'd <laughs> had for many years. It was fantastic. In the second year, we got relegated. Oh my God. And being relegated emotionally is terrible for everybody, fans, owners, players, is, so it was absolutely horrific. <laughs> MLS is different, mm. there's no relegation. It's uh, the American structure where however bad you are, you still stay in the league. So, and, and because it was a new league, um, like ISL here, mm. the pressures were much less because we were trying to grow the team, develop the team, and everybody knew there were going to be challenges, as there are in ISL. But Eintracht Frankfurt, where I was the director, was a 120-year-old club with a lot of pressure, a lot of fans, and it was terrible, absolutely <laughs> terrible. Not, not just for yeah. me, I mean for the fans. I mean, I'm also a football fan, and when my team loses, I really... Which feel team it. is that? I'm a West Ham fan, and we lost 4-1 at Liverpool <laughs> this weekend. So when your team loses, you know, as a fan, and Eintracht Frankfurt has a big fan base, mm. they really feel it. So that was a tough, really tough... All right, I'm not going to take any more Mr. Matthews Wheeler's time. It was great speaking to him and I hope you have a good time with the event. Thank you. Catching up. All right, nice it's a pleasure, you. sir.